Another new report from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention just released this afternoon shows health workers continue to face a mental health crisis due to burnout and harassment while on the job. 11 Lives' Brittany Klein-Peter spoke with medical workers about the conditions they're facing here in Metro Atlanta. The CDC's report showing that medical workers across the country have seen a decline in mental health, describing everything from harassment to mental and physical abuse. Not surprised. I think uh, my biggest surprise is probably that we're still talking about it. And Nurse practitioner Ashley Blackman works at Piedmont Eastside and serves as the state president for the United Advanced Practice of Registered Nurses in Georgia. She says she and other health care workers are facing the unimaginable every day. Everybody has a story. Um, it's similar to the Me Too movement in that people are surprised when they hear that every woman and most men have a story of sexual harassment. Well, every healthcare worker has a story of violence. She believes outside factors like inflation and the economy have only made conditions worse. And then they are sick because they can't afford their medication and they come to the hospital and take it out on us. According to the CDC's Vital Signs report, the number of healthcare workers reporting harassment at work more than doubled in 2022 compared to 2018, contributing to a decrease in happiness, an increase in sleep problems, depression, and feelings of burnout and anxiety. In light of the study, the CDC is calling on workplaces to do better, asking employers to promote worker well being by giving workers a say in changes needed in the workplace. But workers like Blackman say there's only so much employers can do and she's begging lawmakers to get rid of laws she believes limit medical workers abilities. So we need our legislators to step up so that employers can do what they need to do to utilize all of their staff to the best of their ability. Reporting in Snellville, Brittany Kleinpeter, Alumni Live News.